A zombie fights a shark in this movie. Do I even have to do a review? Hey everyone and welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel. I'm Ken here today for another disc review. This time I will be reviewing the 4K edition of Zombie directed by Lucio Fulci, released by Blue Underground. And uh, yeah, so last week I did my Blue Underground unboxing where I got in uh, uh, just a bunch of different films from director Dario Argento, Lucio Fulci. Um, I also got Maniac in 4K, a lot of different 4K transfers. So I wanted to try to start diving into some of these movies because when it comes to these more obscure niche horror films from the 70s and 80s, in particular in the Giallo um, Italian horror genre, you know, I, I have some gaps. I have not seen a lot of these movies. So I wanted to dive into Zombie first because I've heard tons of good things, not only about the 4K transfer of this, but also just the movie itself. Now, one thing I will say before getting into this review, guys, is I'm not the biggest zombie genre fan. I just don't find zombies all that scary. So it's not that I don't enjoy the movies. It just never hit me like I would want my horror to. Like, I like to be scared. I like to feel uneasy. That's a part of the joy of watching um, a horror movie. So when I watch a zombie movie, I'm more or less just more into the action aspect of it, the survival aspect of it. You know, how are these people going to get out of the situation? You know, I'm more interested in the human aspects, which is why I enjoyed the show Walking Dead uh, for as long as I watched it. But uh, when it comes to my favorite zombie movies, you know, Night of the Living Dead, I like it. It's okay. It's just, it's never been one of my favorites. Day of the Dead, Dawn of the Dead, uh, Romero's version. I like them. They're just not among my favorite horror movies of all time. My favorite zombie film of all time is Zack Snyder's Dawn of the Dead. It's just the first movie that I actually felt creeped out um, by zombies was in his vision. Again, like I said, directed by Lucio Fulci, and this is my first film from that Italian filmmaker as well. So he was kind of um, Dario Argento's, I guess, contemporary back in the day. Stylistically, I see a lot of the similarities. I mean, I've seen about six um, Argento film, so I am familiar with that Giallo um, Italian style that he kind of brings to the table. And Lucio Fulci, you can definitely um, see where the two of them were kind of in similar camps as far as their style of filmmaking um, in the horror genre. So the cast in this movie is Ann Bowles and Peter West. Um, who I both think are, are English actors and actresses. I'm not familiar with either one of them, but to, you know, we'll get into their performances here in a second. So right off the top, guys, I just want to say um, I really love this movie. <laughs> I really love this movie. Um, if not just for the, the zombie aspect of it, the horror aspect of it, there's just tons of great iconic imagery in this movie, tons of great iconic moments, so very memorable moments. I love the way that the zombies are portrayed, the way that they're presented, the way they just kind of raise themselves out of the ground. I don't feel like I've ever seen a zombie movie just presented in this way before, and I really was down with the style um, in which they used here in this film, just kind of the fusing of that giallo style with the zombies um, it just made this feel incredibly different than any other zombie movie that I had ever seen before. It is extremely grotesque, you know, there's just scenes of zombies just ripping flesh off just like they're um, eating uh, out of a bowl of food or something, uh, just kind of like eating spaghetti with their hands. There's like guts all in their, their hands and stuff like that. Just some really cool imagery and scenes in this film. And just going into some of the more iconic moments, some of the, the moments that just stick out to me like a sore thumb and I won't forget them. One scene in particular is like straight up Giallo. I feel like I've seen Argento do scenes like this before, but the scene where the girl um, he, the zombie reaches in through the window and is like pulling her in. This piece of wood just goes through her eye. It's just, it's such a cool scene just the way it's shot and presented because she's so far away from it and it just kind of slowly goes toward it and you know it's going to happen so the tension's building as it happens and then it just goes in and then it pops out and the eyes just kind of floating there and it's it's a really cool scene that I enjoyed a lot and then there's the scene of course it's from the cover of this with the zombie rises out of the ground. I just love 
Um, I don't feel like I've ever seen that in this way. Just the way that they just, they just come out of the ground and there's worms on them. And it, it's just such cool imagery. And the zombie comes out and there's worms in his eye and the girl's just standing there. Of course she doesn't run. She's just standing there. She's in shock. And he just comes, takes a big old chunk out of her neck. She's bleeding everywhere. I just love the Giallo style blood, the way it squirts and splatters in everywhere and just how red it is. It's just really adds to it. And in addition to that, then you kind of pan off um, and you got the couple that's kind of kissing in the grass and just the zombies that are coming out underneath them while they're uh, kissing in the grass. That scene is really cool as well. And then of course the very end of this movie, of course, you start in New York City here and the zombie kind of makes it to New York and that's a really cool scene as well then discovering the zombies on the on the yacht or boat right outside of uh, uh, New York City in the water in the Hudson Bay. And then at the very end of the movie you discover that that zombie basically started the zombie apocalypse in New York. York and the last shot of the movie is the bridge uh, heading towards Manhattan and it just kind of pulls out and you see all the zombies walking towards Manhattan and it is one of the coolest uh, images that I've ever seen in any of these types of movies and it really surprises me that I just haven't really heard of this movie before I mean I've heard of it but it doesn't feel like it sticks out like the Romero movies and to me I just like this movie better and I think that there was more images in this movie that just stick out to me uh, more so than the, what I've seen in his films. But again, I could be making some enemies <laughs> saying that because I know a lot of people love Romero and of course I got that Dawn of the Dead 4K set right up there behind me so I do enjoy the movies but yeah, that, that image, like how have I not seen that before? You would think that I had I'd noticed it. It's such a cool image. I love it. And then next up guys, we we gotta talk about the shark scene. <laughs> we gotta talk about this shark scene because I could not believe it while I was watching it. So first off, you have the girl that does this, she scuba dives underneath the water. I forget why she went down there, what the reason was, but she's being attacked by a shark. So it's already a really tense scene where you don't know if she's gonna make it out. Uh, a tiger shark swims up and she's kind of trying to swim away from it. So it's, it kind of turns into this shark attack type movie, this kind of the shallows or 47 meters down. It just feels like a, a shark movie. Um, in that moment and yeah, you're real tense because is she gonna make it out? Is she gonna swim? Is the shark gonna take a bite out of her? And then she gets away from the shark and then a zombie comes out. A zombie underneath the water comes out of like the rocks or whatever and then she has to fight the zombie off and then she does and she swims to the surface. So now you have this zombie that's kind of flailing around on the bottom of the ocean. He's walking on the bottom of the ocean. I don't know how he's doing that. Um, and then the, the shark comes back and then you have this encounter with the shark and the zombie and it's just it feels so realistic just the way that it's shot and presented it it sounds incredibly goofy and outlandish and over the top but when you're in the moment like it's an incredibly tense moment it's incredibly suspense filled and you're just like who's going to come out on top the zombie the shark the zombie takes a bite out of the shark the the, the, the freaking shark uh, rips his arm off. It's just a freaking incredible scene that I've honestly never seen anything like in any other film. And I just, I just loved this scene. Yeah, I was doing a little bit of digging online and apparently this guy that used to train sharks um, as a career, you know, was involved in the making of this scene and trying to just set up this scene for Lucio Fulci. Um, and they couldn't get the stunt person to do it. So he did it himself. So it's him down there um, with the tank on and they're trying to hide the tank during this scene and uh, yeah it's just it's such a well done scene and I couldn't believe it that they actually got this and it feels so real because it is real definitely like I said like more scenes and moments in this movie just stand out to me more than anything else uh, than, than a George A. Romero zombie film. Also just the makeup effects, like you've never seen zombies at this time presented in this way. Like you're used to the Romero style where it's just humans that are kind of have face paint on um, and it's not really as scary to me. Like they're all done up here, they're all grotesque. There's this image of this guy just walking in the street and he's got like blood dripping from the side of his head and just the way that they show it, which looks freaking incredible in 4K. Um, it's just so cool and just yeah all the makeup effects with the zombies and the worms coming out of their eyes What they look like when they come out of the ground. It's all just so well done And also I just I love the island setting like I I, I was I'm not I say I'm not, I'm not a big zombie movie fan But I used to play a lot of zombie games. I played Dead Island games I played Left 4 Dead played Dead Rising all of those games 
uh, back in the day. And yeah, I love like the, the zombie island setting. I just think it's a perfect aesthetic and I think it just works well with the undead zombie genre. So yeah, I really love the setting in this film, kind of the tropical setting mixed with the zombies. I thought was really cool. And the score in this movie by Fabio Frezzi, um, is honestly now probably one of my favorites. And I feel like I say that every time I watch a new horror movie that I haven't really seen. Um, I love the score. I just love horror scores. I love uh, discovering new tracks to listen to. And I've been listening to that main theme from Zombie like nonstop since I watched this movie. I just think it's an incredible theme. There's also some really great action and set piece moments in this movie, in particular the last 20 minutes where they're kind of, uh, their backs against the wall and they're fighting all these zombies as they're coming in at them. Uh, they're throwing Molotov cocktails, they're lighting buildings on fire, their stuff exploding, they've got guns, they're shooting them. So the way that all plays out and the action that's presented it is, is really well done. As for my negatives, I don't have a whole lot with this movie. Like I said, I really loved it. Um, if I had to nitpick, I would say the actors aren't the strongest, but then again, the characters in this movie are more of a backdrop to just the zombie action. You know, I take the story with a grain of salt. It's a girl that's coming over to this island trying to find her father who's missing. She's using the help of uh, of this scientist guy that she kind of met back in New York City and they're trying to find her father and they meet up with a couple other people that's trying to help them kind of navigate through the island and then there's a whole like voodoo subplot and the kind of the origin of these zombies so the story isn't the strongest the characters aren't the strongest the performances aren't the strongest but to me that's not the real selling point of this film overall as a movie guys if i have to slap a number on it i mean on letterbox i gave it a four and a half out of a five like i think this film is near perfect the only thing drawing it back is some of the the story and the characters not being the strongest but again that's not really what this movie is about to me at least so i'm not gonna knock it that hard just for that getting into the package of this release guys I mean I didn't get the slip cover with it they said the slip cover is not really in print anymore it's kind of hard to get so I didn't get this was the only one that I got in that set that I uh, the only 4k that I get, didn't get the slip cover with um, but I'm fine with that I'm fine the packaging is really cool I really love the artwork on it um, the disc art in there you know I love disc art the disc art in it is really cool um, as well so I love how they have like the the image of them walking across the bridge on that desk right there so um, you know it's a little disappointing that Blue Underground doesn't do reversible cover art I wish that they did but you know the packaging's fine it's fine as for the audio and visuals guys like I don't think you get too much better than this this 4k transfer is just incredible and I'm not basing this off of the blu-ray release because I didn't watch the blu-ray release this is the first time I'm ever experiencing this film is in 4k and to me it looks fantastic the detail is incredible the way these zombies look the makeup effects the gore effects just all looks like stuff that i have never seen before in any horror movie and yeah i thought it was absolutely incredible the transfer of this it lives up to every ounce of hype that it got before i watched it the special features this has a lot of great special features on it um, I didn't watch every single one, and all of these are were with the 2018 Blu-ray 4K restoration that came out back in 2018. Uh, so none of these are new to this 4K release. So if you already have that release, um, you're not going to get anything new as far as special features. But if this is the first time that you buy this on any format, then you know this is a lot of great special features in this. The one that I enjoyed the most was probably. Uh, the Guillermo del Toro interview where he was talking about this being one of his favorite films and just talking about all the great moments in it. So I really enjoyed um, that interview with him as well. And then Zombie Wasteland, um, I watched that one. It's kind of like interviews with the actors and stuff about the making of the film. And then uh, When the Earth Spits Out the Dead, there's an interview with... Um, I think a writer who wrote like a book on Mulchie's like filmography and his name's Stephen Thrower. I thought his interview was really well done as well. I enjoyed that. Overall guys, as for a rating, you know, I leave my rating system in the description below if you want to know all the different levels of the rating system. But this to me is a buy it now. Um, I think it is an absolutely fantastic release. And right now on Blue Underground's website and Amazon.com, you can get this for $33.49. So I got this for 25 bucks in the Blue Underground sale, but $33.49 is not a bad deal either. And the, for what you get with this, and for this being one of the better 4K transfers I've ever seen, one of the better zombie movies I've ever seen, and just one of the better overall horror movies that I've ever seen, Some just some memorable moments in this film. And yeah, I, I can't recommend this enough. This has to be a buy it now for me. So 
definitely, definitely get on Amazon. If you don't own this, if you've never seen this, this is a high recommendation from me. So definitely check it out. I will have all the links for purchase in the description below. So definitely check those out if you are interested in purchasing this release. So with that, guys, that does it for my review of Lucio Fulci's Zombie from Blue Underground, the 4K transfer. So definitely, if you can, hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you have already. Comment down below your thoughts on this film. Is it one of your favorite zombie films of all time? Is it one of your favorite Fulci films, your favorite horror films? Comment your thoughts down below and also turn on those bell notifications for all future videos and reviews. And we'll see you next time.